All right, guys, today we are looking at some nickels that may get overlooked in circulation. People may think that they're damaged coins. However, you should definitely not spend these coins if you do come across them. First up is a 1961 Jefferson nickel that was actually struck onto a defective planchet. So a planchet is what is, you know, cut out in circles, of course, from the sheets of metal. And then the coin design, which is on the die, comes down, the die comes down and strikes the design onto the planchet to create the coin. Well, this planchet was defective, and this coin ended up selling at auction for a little over $100, graded by NGC. Moving right along to a broad strike, multi-strike error taking place on a 1964 Jefferson nickel. You can see how it looks all stretched out there around the rim of the coin. Well, that is a mint error, and of course, that will give it value. This coin ended up selling for $240. Moving right along to a 1969 Jefferson nickel that sold for $51 at auction. Looks very normal on the reverse, but here as we flip the coin over, you can see that the obverse of the coin has been struck through a capped die. So, you know, you could definitely find these in circulation. It's not like, you know, the rarest mint error to find or anything like that. I've found examples of these in coin rolls from the bank. You can look for these on pennies and other coins as well, $51 for that nickel. Now this next coin here is very, very awesome. It is a double strike taking place on a 1972 nickel. So 1972 nickels, very common coins. They're not rare to have unless you have like a top grade or a mint error like this. This coin sold for over $400 because the coin has been double struck with that being flipped over. So you'll see the design of the obverse on the reverse and then the reverse design here on the obverse of the coin as well. So 400 bucks for that coin. Now here's a 1975 Jefferson nickel. Looks normal like any old Jefferson nickel would on the obverse, but as we flip the coin over, you can see that it has a copper fragment there that is retained into the coin there. So this coin ended up selling for $228. Next up is a coin that some people may get confused with being damaged or you know something happened to it or someone intentionally did this to the coin, but it's actually a mint error coins. So the design of a 1984 nickel was actually struck onto an elliptical clipped planchet. So pretty cool mint error here. Something that most people probably just don't even look for or would just pass up or throw, throw out or something, you know. Not many people are even using coins nowadays, which is crazy. Uh, but the coin here sold for $174. Next up is a coin that I could easily see being passed up in circulation. It's a 1997 Jefferson nickel. This coin here has an improperly annealed planchet. And you can see that there in the images displayed. Uh, again, very obvious to you know a coin collector, but probably not to the average person. This coin ended up selling for a little over fifty dollars, graded by NGC. There. Next up is a Jefferson nickel that looks very normal on the reverse, but as we flip over the coin, you'll see it does not have an obverse design because it has an obverse. Brockage. So we see a mirrored image of the reverse design here on this no dated Jefferson nickel. This coin sold for $264. Moving on to a die adjustment strike mint error taking place on a no dated Jefferson nickel. Can't see the date as a result of the mint error. It also has a die clash as well. An easy way to explain a die clash is you kind of see parts of the reverse design on the obverse or parts of the obverse design on the reverse. But this coin ended up selling for 200 and $28. Moving right along to a pretty valuable coin. This coin sold for $558 at auction. It's a Jefferson nickel design that was actually struck onto a silver 10 cent planchet. So they were creating silver dimes from 1964 and prior. And this nickel design was struck onto one of those planchets. Uh, so this coin, like I say, sold for $558. So always inspect your nickels, your pennies, your quarters, Feel free to check out the other videos here on the page because we're uploading coin videos every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.